yeah, I can say send to Mudbox. And this is a nice thing, you know, about using Meyer or uh, 3ds Max with Mudbox is because there's the send to Mudbox send back workflow, you know. So now I've got that original image. The problem is it doesn't support the text of the camera projections. So what I have here is what I can bring in, go open by import the same FBX file. Now I would have to export McKernan because I adjusted the orientation. I would have to export the scan data cameras back out to a new FBX file, the original back end to here. Yeah, so this is kind of a lot of yucky data. The red is yucky data, which hasn't been cleaned yet, which I recommend you do before you bring it in. You have an option to hide this as well. But you can select camera. You know, what I'd like to do is be sure to turn on lock these attributes because you don't want to move the camera. I can right click, look through that camera. I can select the image plane, turn it on, hit import, and then I'm going to find those uh, scanning, it's scanning Rob, I'm distorted, this one right here. And by default it comes in like too large, so what I need to do is set the scale to one. For some reason it loaded in really low, and then drop the visibility back. And what you'll see is it lines up perfectly. Now you can't zoom in because I've locked the, the camera down. If you don't do this, you can mess this up if you don't lock this. If you're using Mudbox, please lock the, the, the camera down. See, if I try to rotate with Alt left mouth, it won't work. But if I hold down Control Alt, I can zoom in in the 2D mode. And then I can pan. So I can zoom and pan in the 2D mode. And what I can see is right away is the ears don't quite line up. So I can select my mesh, go to the grab tool, and I can actually pull that scan data and actually realign it back in line with the photograph. So when you're fixing scan data, this is where Mudbox is kind of useful. You know, some people say ZBrush or Mudbox, which one's better? You know, and there's really not, it's, it's, it's really depends. So, I mean, whatever you need to do. So don't be afraid and don't follow people who say, oh, ZBrush is the best. That's the only one you can ever get anything done with, right? So what I'm doing is, because it, it all depends on specific tools. And Mudbox does some things that, that ZBrush can't, and this is one of them. And you can do this in Moto, but at the same time, you don't have the full feature paint capabilities that are inherent to say Mudbox or Mari. So control alt, like I said, lets me pan, and it's pretty accurate. You know, the mesh almost, you know, lines up perfectly to it. So the idea is to go back and forth on the image plane so I can see it line up just about perfectly. And then when it's there, I can use this as a stencil and then texture it, project it as a texture onto the mesh. You know, so I can go to Paint Tools, you know, Projection, you know, select the stencil, and you pretty much stencil for the one. And so I'm not going to go into this any farther. Let's go spend a whole class going over this. But uh, the idea is you can project this camera information back on to create new texture maps in your scans.